Hello everyone, welcome to 13th grammar lesson and today we will be learning about adverbs. So if you want to make the most out of this video then make sure to watch this video to have the complete understanding of adverbs. And make sure to grab yourself a notebook and a pen so that you can write things down anything which you can't understand or maybe you uh, learn something new write it down because writing things down will help your brain 85 percent more chances to retain that thing so yeah without wasting any time let's get started with the video so before we deep dive into adverbs let's understand and recap what we have learned so far so we have already talked about four types of parts of speech noun pronoun verb and adjective and today we are going to talk about the fifth parts of speech out of eight that's adverb so what is adverb it is a word that modify verb adjectives or adverbs in any sentences so what does modify means it means that it adds or change the meaning of verb adjective or adverb in any given sentence Let's look into each modification with example to make things even more clearer for all of you. So how does adverb modify verb or we can shape action performed by any subject. So there are four ways in which adverb modifies or describes. So what are the four actions? Number one is how, then where, then when and then how often. So what does it mean? How? an action is performed where is the action performed when the action is performed and how often or frequently action is being performed let's see some example from each of them first is how the ringtone of phone rang loudly how does the ringtone of phone rang it rang loudly let's take another example to make things even more clearer Peter ran quickly. How does Peter run? He ran very quickly. So since it describes in a manner the action is performed is called adverb of manner. Now moving forward, where? Put the book there. Where to put the book? There. It can be on a table or anywhere. I looked everywhere for my book. Where did I look? Everywhere for my book. As this adverb describes where the action happened. So it is adverb of place. Now moving forward. When? Pritha went to watch movie today. So when did Pritha went to watch movie? She went today. They go out to vacation monthly. When do they go out for vacation? They go out monthly. As this describes when exactly the action has happened. So it is known as adverb of time. Next, how often or frequently action is being performed. Sometime he play football. When does he play football? Or how often he plays football? Sometimes. Anything, any adverb which describes frequency of action. These are called adverb of frequency. Now let's look into word describing adjective. Let's say for example, he was very happy yesterday. Happy is an adjective and very describes the intensity of his happiness. Now understand another example to make things even more clearer. Manushi wore brightly colored dress in party. Your colored is adjective and brightly is an adverb which increases the intensity of the sentence. Now moving forward, adverbs. It means it describes another adverb. For example, the dancer moves so gracefully. Gracefully, how does the dancer move? Is described by gracefully. And so increases the intensity of gracefulness. So these both are adverbs. Next is the scientist quite easily solved the problem. Easily is action of solving problem and quite is the increase of intensity which it adds. So yeah, this is all I have to share with all of you today and let's now revise what we have covered so far. So we have talked about what is adverb, 
then we talked about the type of action it requires to modify verb so there are four type as you can see how when where and how often then thirdly we talked about adjective and then lastly we talked about how adverb modifies adverbs so yeah guys this is all i have to share with all of you today in this session so thank you so much guys for watching my video and tuning in today i hope i was able to add value if you guys feel the same then do like this video share it with your friends and family and do let me know in the comment section where you guys are tuning in from and of course if you have any question or any query related to anything or any session today or in the past make sure to reach out to me on youtube or in my instagram handle you can see my instagram id here so i'll see you next week again with a smashing video till then mera namaste aap sabhi ko